10,000 years ago, a major revolution occurred. Suddenly, there was an abundance of food. Man went from hunter-gatherer to farmer. But in one area, we are still hunter-gatherers, in the area of energy. We still gather wood, oil, coal and gas. Our hunting grounds now cover vast areas. The whole world has been combed in our quest for energy. I don't think anybody's understanding how big this is or how big this could be. Uh, one of the real things, uh, challenged about the industry is we have to quit thinking small, we have to think big. The solution for solar is not to think about you know, a few panels here, a few panels here. It's, it's a field full of panels of arrays. The world has changed and so has solar. Solar is cost effective today. I don't think the average uh, person on the street really could fathom how big this industry could be. I mean, it's a gigawatt industry in the next five years. One country has started harvesting sunshine with a vengeance. The air is now cleaner, renewable energy is cheaper, and fossil fuel dependence has decreased. People driving through southern Germany will see farmhouses with solar panels everywhere they look. Even hills are completely covered in solar panels. Quietly and cleanly, these solar power plants generate electricity. For 1,000 euros, you make a profit of 6% and you buy a machine that makes you for the next 20 years the current you need. So you make your green current for the next 20 years just by investing in the right machine. They don't have to give away the 1,000 euro, it's just an investment. So the question is, do you bring it to the bank or do you pay it in into such a solar fund? Germany's huge lead in the area of solar energy is due to the introduction of a so-called feed-in tariff law. This law obliges electricity companies to buy energy from all kinds of renewable energy sources. The price of the renewable energy is guaranteed for the next 20 years and is paid for by a monthly tax of approximately one euro on ordinary electricity. Making Germany a solar economy was the fantasy of just one man. At the end of the 1980s, socialist politician Hermann Scheer decided to focus his efforts on solar energy. A frequently heard myth about the use of solar energy is that it takes up space, a lot of space. But that's actually not true. An area the size of France would be big enough. Calculations show that with the help of current technology, an area covering 300,000 square kilometers in the Sahara is enough to meet man's total annual energy consumption. From a global perspective, this is quite a modest-sized area. More than 700 companies from all corners of the world have gathered for the biggest solar trade fair ever. Last year, the trade fair was held in Freiburg, but it's since doubled in size, so only Munich is big enough to hold it now. Halls full of the latest solar technology gadgets. Solar energy is hot sizzling hot. It is a big, big, big economy. I mean, if, even if you look at what's already been done, uh, I mean, I think today Germany has more jobs in the renewable energy world than they have in automotive and engineering together. And what's happening today all around the world is the cost of a solar panel is coming down very rapidly and the price of electricity is going up. So our ability, what we're seeing with the equipment is the uh, opportunity to serve many of the new growing areas in the world that need electricity that's cost effective. It's an industry, many of the people who have come to visit us at this conference have come from the integrated circuit business and they say this is just like 30 years ago with the transistor coming in to replace vacuum tubes and suddenly a whole new market uh, vista opened up the panorama of all of those possibilities is being uh, seen and tried here at uh, over a thousand exhibits. It's, a, it's a, an incredibly exciting time for all of us. 
people are remembering from the last time we had an oil embargo, 1978, solar was too expensive. It was about $30 a watt for a solar panel. Today, it's well below $3 a watt. There's been a factor of more than 10 in cost reduction. Part of what's important here is to get the message out that the uh, world has changed and so has solar. Solar is cost effective today. Yes, a solar panel like the ones behind me made with thin film silicon can produce as much energy as was consumed to make the solar panel in about eight months, well less than one year. The energy payback, as it's called, is a very short time. And of course, this is going to continue to make electricity well beyond 25 years. It's a great uh, return on that energy investment. You don't see it, but this was a wasteland deposit. And farming was not possible because uh, the, the yield for the farmer was really poor. So it was worth nothing, more or less. And that's why I think here it really makes sense. And what is interesting, even if it would have been an excellent farmland, the energy yield in kilowatt hours, electrical kilowatt hours per hectare, is roughly 50 times higher than via biomass. And um, we will arrive with uh, solar power uh, production, with PV, um, we will arrive in the run of the next decade um, at costs, including new uh, storing um, opportunities, at costs for a household which are lower than the conventional costs for buying electric power over the grid. We will arrive at that. And who will hinder people uh, to do that? No man can do it. Only a dictatorship can do that. How does it feel to be a sort of initiator of uh, a revolution? Hmm. <laughs> do you know, perhaps you know the uh, a sentence of the, um, of Schopenhauer who was a, a German philosopher of the 19th century. And he wrote, a new idea will um, firstly become denounced as being ridiculous. Um, secondly, uh, there are many fights against it. And finally, all people we're in favor for that from the early beginning. And this will happen with solar energy.